Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers here in Monongahela, PA, and today we're going to take a very close look at this 1937 Pierce Aero Travel Lodge Model A Trailer Coach. Uh, there were roughly 450 of these Pierce Aero coaches built. Uh, of, the, of the total, about 70 remain in existence in various conditions all the way from total basket cases to museum pieces. Uh, of the Model A, which this unit is, only 16 remain, including this one. Uh, that's per the Pierce Aero Society. And uh, the Model A was the flagship of the Travelodge lineup. So a lot of history, uh, historical value with this trailer, and uh, rarity for sure. Uh, today this video is to show you the condition of this trailer uh, for you to decide if this would be a good project for you. Uh, this trailer does need the right person. Uh, it would be a great place to start if you're looking for a travel lodge project. Um, a lot of work and a lot of reward with this one. So let's check it out. So the first thing we'll look at is the skin. Uh, it had a lot of different layers of paint. I stripped them off as best I could. Um, the aluminum is in fair shape. Uh, the front and rear steel caps, I don't know if that looks like there's holes in it, but there's not. Uh, they're, they're nice and solid. Uh, the aluminum front and rear caps of the trailer are in fair shape. Uh, there's a dent there. Going down the side, uh, around the bottom of the coach, you have some damage, corrosion to the aluminum there. It's corroded through in a couple places. Uh, you also have a numerous uh, screw holes where uh, they were skirting around the trailer. Okay, so the roof panels on this side are pretty nice. Uh, there's some denting up there. Uh, much of the aluminum on this trailer, this was originally a uh, just a, a plain aluminum, a bare aluminum with the black pinstripes that you can faintly see there. Uh, if you're going to go back to that, then you will have to replace much of the aluminum on the trailer. Uh, if you want to do a painted trailer, uh, that would save you a lot as far as replacing all that. And it's just 18 gauge aluminum, so it's not, you know, unobtainium or anything like that. Uh, the door is in pretty nice shape. Not any corrosion marks on the door. Uh, a couple screw holes where there were some hasps and locks. And look at that original door handle there. And it works great. Okay. The glass window. Uh, obviously, these windows are not original. They're put on decades ago, but the original steel frame windows, they tended to rust away. Steel on aluminum. Uh, looking at the rear cap, once again, the roof cap, very nice shape, the steel. Uh, you have an original B, beehive marker light there. Uh, the, the front and rear caps are in pretty nice shape. Uh, again, you have some screw holes. You have some, you know, butchering over the ear. Uh, those are not original tail lights. Uh, these are not original, it's not an original wheel, uh, it's just a six bolt, but what we do have included with the trailer is a pair of the proper wheels. These are 17 inch uh, artillery Chevrolet wheels. Uh, they're the proper wheels for the trailer and there are two of them there included. Okay. So let's go around. Uh, you have a steel plate there that somebody patched over the years. Now the tongue, the tow hitch of the trailer is missing. We'll look at that here underneath. We're going to go underneath and on the roof. Okay, now this side of the trailer, uh, the unit was up against a building. Uh, if you saw my original videos of it. And uh, they unfortunately cut a hole inside of the trailer to put it against the building. Now. Uh, they did cut through one of the ribs. This is a steel ribbed trailer. Uh, the steel goes, uh, steel ribs throughout the body and then bolt down to the frame. Uh, that part of it is very solid. Uh, we picked this trailer up with a forklift and you can watch my other videos on that where 
we manhandled it and it stayed nice and rigid, nice and solid. Um, did not really flex, really impressed. Uh, this is automobile like construction from Pierce Arrow. So they, uh, they wanted it to last and here it is 85 years later. So I make no um, attempt to say that this isn't you know, a lot of work that this needs on this side especially. Uh, it's gonna need all new aluminum sheeting on the roof. Uh, again, if you're going to do a back to original or if you want to do a painted trailer, you can maybe save yourself some, some work there, but you have corrosion along the bottom. Some dings and scrapes. And again, the back uh, corner panel there. Pretty nice shape with some screw holes. Original uh, light sconce on this side, marker light rather. And you have where the windows would have been are just covered up with uh, sheets of aluminum. Okay, so let's get on our roller. Well, let's go up on the roof now. So up on the roof, you have again, nice riveted uh, aluminum. Two roof vents. Um, that middle patch there, there would have been a sewer stack. I'll show you that inside. Okay. Now let's get underneath the trailer. Check out the frame and chassis. Oh. Okay, folks. Underneath we go. So. Uh, that, like I say, the frame is very solid. Now I'm told that rust on these is a big problem, but this one, I'm not going to say it doesn't have any rust, but it uh, is nice and solid. Um, you have the tongue that was removed. There are just these bars that come here and they meet the side frame rail or the edge there. So replacing those shouldn't be too difficult. Like I say, there are a lot of parts trailers available for these. Uh, the main uh, frame channels there in very nice shape. There are no rust holes on the main uh, section of the frame. You have the suspension components there. Steel wheel wells, nice shape. Uh, the other side's cut, I'll show you. Uh, this one's missing a spring hanger right here, this side. The other side does have it. And again, uh, we bent it a little bit. Unfortunately, I think that was us with the forklift. I uh, straighten that right out. And you have the rear bumper uh, supports. If this had a rear bumper, which was an option, it's hard to say if this one did. I would bet you it did. It looks like those threads were... Um, a little fresh to have had something on them at one point. So uh, now where there is some rust along the edge, this is a common place. This edge, um, outer perimeter of the frame where it meets the body, does have some rust through, corrosion. So that part of it will need some repair work. It gets bad in front of the door here. I guess over the years, all those wet, salty boots coming in through the door. And it gets rigid again up here. Well, yeah, it needs some, some fabrication along the, uh, the edges. So let's go around. And look at this side. So again, you have the main channel, uh, pretty nice shape, a couple bends from the old forklift there. Uh, cross members all looking real nice, uh, where the uh, trailing arm there meets the frame is nice and solid. Now this one, we are missing a hub on this trailer, I took this one off of this side and put it on the other side. Uh, so a hub and a couple bearings are missing. Uh, also the axle nuts, I'm going to try to get those. Um, so this is the main suspension setup is in nice shape, uh, and that's a big deal on these. They're often missing or modified or just totally rotted away. Um, here's what the spring hanger that's missing on the other side looks like. I couldn't find one online. 
but and there are, uh, you know, reproductions. I mean, just regular spring hangers that would work. They just don't have that look to them, but they would work just the same. Um, so again, parts, you know, same with that hub. I looked for an original, couldn't find one, but there are parts, you know, there, there are other units that work for it. Uh, on this side, this side of the frame rail is in better shape uh, on the, um, the, the perimeter, rather. Uh, this, it is rusted up front here, but coming back down here, um, it's not rusted through, I wouldn't say at all, a little bit on the bottom there, it's corroded away, but nice and stiff. Uh, the floor underneath, you can see most of it original plywood, uh, some of it was replaced up front. There are definitely some parts that are going to need replaced, but it's a lot better than a lot of the modern trailers I get. So, okay, let me pause this here and we're going to go inside. Okay, guys, we're inside the 37 Pierce Aero Travel Lodge. And the first thing you'll notice uh, when you walk through that front door and turn to the right uh, is this original equipment pull-out couch here. Pull out bed rather, slide it back, and it becomes the couch. And that is original 1937 upholstery on there. So, uh, again, very nice overhead cabinets. These are 110 volt lights. Beautiful leaded glass doors, a total of eight of these overhead leaded glass cabinets in here. And look at this, so cool hardware. And there's the original circuit breaker unit uh, set up for the, the coach. Little labels on everything there. Obviously, you're gonna rewire this trailer. Um, this trailer does have a six volt system. Uh, it has these six volt lights in the ceiling with glass lenses. Uh, most of the wood in this trailer will be reusable. Most of it will be salvageable. There are panels that will not be. Um, I said most, not all, don't attack me. Uh, up front here, these panels are really the worst of the water damage. Um, if you look in the video of how this was built into the building, this front unit kind of stuck out, the front of the unit stuck out, so it got some of the weather. I'm told the wood in here is cherry. I'm not sure about the plywood, but I'm told it's um, a difficult to source uh, as far as if you had to you know, redo the whole trailer, especially these rounded pieces. Uh, most of it is in nice shape in here. You have the closet. And what you're looking at on the floor is a subfloor. It's just a quarter inch sheeting over top of the original that somebody added. Uh, it's obviously water stained and it's not rotten or not wet. It's, it is solid. You know, you can walk around in here. Uh, that staining just makes it look worse than it is. Not saying that you wouldn't replace it because you surely would. Okay, now here's where the cutout uh, occurred and this was a bathroom okay so this trailer did have a little corner bathroom here with a commode and a sink and obviously that's gone so yep you'll have some fabrication carpentry work to do there okay now this these are the pocket doors on the trailer so it has sliding pocket doors and they're in pretty nice shape so let's go into the uh, the kitchen area. Okay, folks, we are in the kitchen, and uh, as you can see, uh, pretty nice shape for the age of the trailer. Doing my best with lighting here. I shut the pocket doors, so we're closed into the kitchen area. And the original features, um, preservation of this trailer becomes apparent in here. 
Uh, what you see on the ceiling is that flaking white paint over top of very nice condition wood. All the trim in here is in nice shape. Uh, not to say it won't need some attention, but you have the rolled leather along the, uh, the ceiling lines there at the top of the cabinets. This is an original uh, oil light or gas light. And you have an original cabinet. There we go. Let's open this up. We have an original stove top. Caloric, caloric. Made in Philadelphia. Okay, so lots of great original equipment in this trailer. Again, this is stuff that you're not going to find in most of them for sale. I've looked at a bunch that are for sale now and over the last couple years. Uh, they don't have the original interior. Most of them have the opposite problem of this one. The outside's fair, but the inside is gone or close to it. So to have all these original features is just something you'd never be able to recreate. Uh, exactly, anyways, without all this hardware. There are parts available for these, but not that many. You know, with only about 70 units remaining, uh, this one is a great place to start. That original light fixture. I mean, you're not gonna find another one uh, aside from the museum pieces. Has a single bowl, a little yellow porcelain sink there with a cover. The countertop is like a uh, leatherette type of material or a marnoleum maybe. And then down here this is an ice box. So you have the original hardware. That is where you put your ice. Drains down over there and there's a little, see it drains. And keep your food cool. Uh, condition of the cabinets, very good. Um, not to say they won't need some work. Uh, there are some swollen doors. There's a missing drawer here. Uh, this door won't stay shut, won't shut. So there's some adjusting and there's some, you know, chips and veneer missing and, you know, paint. Um, now this, there would have been a window here. It's covered. So this piece of wood is, is not original. I don't even think it's wood. It's like a particle board. But then this side is. So again, the vast majority of the wood, the trim, the hardware uh, is here and is reusable. So that is really going to be a big head start for uh, your project. Okay. And those pocket doors. How about those? Got the mirror. They're a little stiff. I greased them up a little bit, but Okay, folks, we're going to conclude this video. I appreciate you watching it. Uh, if you like this content, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you're interested in this trailer, you can contact me through uh, my phone numbers in my um, thumbnail photo here. Or um, if you saw the listing, you can message me or email me. I'll talk to you guys then. Appreciate you having a look. God bless you. Have a great day.